Take the camera up and show you what I'm talking about. I threw it exactly the way I would throw my one spin. But in, on one spin I aimed right here. Right about where the knife is now. On two spin I aimed 12 o'clock. About three inches above the bullseye. And you see where it hit. Nobody's perfect. Okay. One spin. Aim dead center in the black. Two spin. Aim 12 o'clock right at the top of the six inch circle. Dropped it very, very close in there. If you're throwing 20, 30 throws in a contest, then hey, you're going to be making quite a bit of points. Here, third target, I uh, lost focus. I was aiming right here and hit right here threw it different than the other two. So let's not focus on that. Let's focus on the two scoring throws. The difference in one spin throw and two spin throw, one spin throw, I just throw dead center bullseye. When I'm throwing two spin, which is about six or seven more feet away from this target, I consider the gravity is going to take my knife down. If you use a lot of force and just try to power it in right here, your your accuracy is going to suffer. So just throw it just like you would one spin. I didn't throw one spin hard. I didn't throw two spin hard. I just got a different point of aim and let gravity take the knife within probably 85 to 90 percent of where I wanted it to go. I thought I'd share that. Thank you.
Okay, Pat Minner here. I'm back. I just did a video on the difference in the one spin throw and the two spin throw. Uh, it's coming a storm here, so I just wanted to squeeze in a couple of these videos before I have to go in the house and teach a little bit. The one spin and the two spin are both handle throws. On the one spin, you would be throwing straight into the bullseye, right in the center of it. The two spin throw, you want to compensate for gravity of the knife. So what you do instead of aiming dead center in the black circle, you'd aim right at the top of the white circle, 12 o'clock. Well, with the two spin throw, I've already demonstrated that. Now I want to show you the two and a half spin throw, which is a blade throw, a little bit different. But I want to show you the point of aim that you want to practice to be able to drop it in that black. Those are all in the black. Take it up there and show you what I'm talking about. I mean they're all in the white, excuse me. Well, pretty close. These are only two and a half inch bullseyes, maybe three now that I've resprayed them. But I didn't really throw with a lot more force, very, very little more force. Of course, gravity, you have to use a little more ump on it to get it to the target. But on the two spin throw, I aimed right here, 12 o'clock, right above the, right even with the uh, six inch circle, and dropped it right in the bullseye. Here, I, I aimed it about two inches above the 12 o'clock range on the uh, six inch circle. And I just dropped it in there. I actually threw the knife here, and I didn't throw it a lot of force, and I dropped it right in here. So. Here's the other throw here. Again, this was a two and a half spin throw. I aimed two inches above, 12 o'clock, the six circle. Dropped it. Pretty close in there. The third target, again, moving laterally, it's kind of hard for me to do and I've got to practice it, but I aimed right here. I threw with just enough effort to get it here. And in, I was a little bit to the right here. And it has a question of, uh, you know, well, it's not a bullseye, but it's still a high scoring point from a two and a half spin distance. That's the last throw in the world championship. So if I have time before it starts to storm too much here, I will show you the difference in the two and a half spin throw and the three spin throw. Of course, being uh, going back to a handle throw, which a three spin throw is a handle throw, but it's no difference. Uh, all we'll do is have a different point of aim and see where we hit within that uh, six inch white circle. Y'all have a great day, thanks.